okay and we're going to look at the organization unit distribution reports okay organization unit distribution reports so um remember we said that the organization unit distribution report is able to show us uh the number of organization units that belong to an organization unit group okay it is a good tool to verify that uh that the number of organics you have belonging to a particular group. For example, you might want to know how many public facilities you have, how many private you have, okay? So this organization unit distribution report allows you to do that, okay? So we are going to try to generate one for food region that is showing us the number of uh, organization units by ownership. Eh? So, um, in that case, we begin by selecting the organization unit, which is food region. And then we select our group set, which is ownership. Okay. And we get report. So you're able to see uh, that in desert district, you have uh, 10 public facilities and no private facility. In dinner district, you have 15 public, five private. Fruit, you have 10 public, zero private. Okay, so you're able to see the distribution of the organization units basing on that particular group set. Okay, so this is defined by the way you create your organization groups and your organization group sets in the maintenance app. You might want to see distribution by tie, go get reports. So you're able to see how many health centers, how many regional referrals, all that uh, distribution by urban rural you're able to see how many facilities are in rural how many are in peri urban and how many are in urban so you can see that for desert district you have seven rural facilities one peri urban and two urban okay so the organization unit uh, distribution report really it just allows you to see how many the distribution of facilities in the different organization unit groups okay so you can see this either as a table or you can see it as a chart as well. Eh? I'm going to go back to our ownership. You see that this is what we had. You might want to see it as a chart as well. You just click on get chart and you're able to see, okay, the private versus the public in food region, okay? So you might want, uh, yeah. So when you have your report, you can download it as PDF or you can download it as Excel as well. Eh? You can choose to download it as PDF or as Excel. Any questions on organization units distribution reports? Okay. And we're going to go to the last. Uh... Yes, Stephen, you have a question. I just want some clarification. When you change uh, from. I'm going to move on to the last module under reports, which is resources. Resource. On the left side, we select resource. Okay. And uh, resources, remember, we said that resources allow us to have different resources available to different users okay so you can have uh, documents uploaded you can have links you can have different resources available to the users and in order to up you see that these are two uh resources already uploaded we have the covid19 event data entry manual and the covid19 vaccination data entry manual this is like an sop that users can access so if I uh, you see it there, if I click and I go to view resource, ah, it's not found. Okay, but it should be able to show if I go to view resource, okay? However, I can also add a resource by clicking on the plus at the bottom. I give it a name. I give it a name. Uh, maybe it's an SOP. And then I have uh, two resource types. I could either upload a file or I could place a, a URL, okay? So you could choose upload file. Do you want to use it as an attachment? Yes. 
and then you select the file you can look for a particular file okay and then you add that resource there okay so now if i go to view resource i should be able to see what i have uploaded are we together so you can make use of this resource if you need to upload uh, user manuals you need to upload uh, sops you can you need to upload uh, anything that is useful to the users you can make use of the resource module you might want to use a url maybe you have a favorite created that you need uh, users to continuously access you can always go to your plus uh, let me see this favorite is named api completeness so i can copy the link of the favorite then i name it api completeness and this time rather than upload file i'm using a url i click on the url i sorry i paste the url there and i add the resource so if someone comes and goes to view resource it will take them direct to that favorite that was created okay and these resources can also be added to dashboards by the way it's not it's, they're not limited to only being accessed from the resource module they can be added to a dashboard um if i go back to my dashboard that i created earlier i can always edit and i search for the resource that i created the first one was called sops oh it's not showing yeah epi completeness the one i added you see it's showing under resources when i'm adding items to the dashboard if i insert you see it's going to have a section for resources so if i save this that means that anyone on my dashboard can simply click this and it will take them to that particular favorite. Okay. So it's the same way you can add uh, your SOPs if you upload them under resources and you add them to the dashboard, they should be listed here. Okay. They should be listed there and uh, users are able to easily access them. Maybe you have your manuals, you want to have users access easily. Maybe you have uh, certain information you want users to access easily. You can always uh, save it under the reports app, the resource module, and then you add it to your dashboard. Is that clear on resources? Perfect. Can you take a man adding it to the dashboard? I don't recommend it to Sorry? Sorry, Kevin. Good afternoon. I didn't... Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, you will see the list of resources available within the system. Okay. So you can see that we have a resource that is EPI completeness. You have SOP. We can add another resource. Okay. In order to add in the bottom right hand corner, there is a plus. Okay. So you give your resource a name. Maybe you want to name it user user guide okay so you've given it a name then you select the resource type okay so the resource type can either be an upload file or it can be a url okay so i'm going to start with upload file maybe you have your user manual or your sops that are already created in word or pdf so you can upload the file do you want to use this file as an attachment yes okay then you go to select file, it will allow you to browse to the file that you would like to add. So I'm going to add this file. Okay. I'm going to add this file. I click open. Okay. So it's allowing me to, this is the file. Maybe this is the manual that I would like to upload and I go to add resource. Okay. So it is added to the list of resources. Now that is for a file. Now, if I want to have an external link, okay, maybe I have a favorite created somewhere, or I have um, a link that I think would be useful to users, I can always still in the bottom right hand corner, I go to the plus, I give my resource a name, maybe it is uh, information on malaria. Okay, 
And then since this time it is a link that I want to have, I will select external URL, okay? And then I can paste the URL of the link I want to share. Let me just get a, a random link here. So I can always copy that link. Okay, and I paste it there. Are we together? So that is the information on malaria. That is, I've selected resource type, external URL, and then the link, then I add resource, okay? So you see that it has also been added there, okay? But maybe I want to have these resources easily accessible to users. So I can add them to a dashboard that I know users will be accessing. To go back to the dashboard, I can click on the top left-hand corner. It takes me back to the dashboard page, okay? And then this is the dashboard we created in the earlier session, HIV tests. So I can always click on edit because I want to add more items on it. So I click on edit, okay? Now we want to add those resources we have created. So we'll search here where it says search for items to add. I will search for information. We, say, we named the resource information on malaria. So you can see that here in the section of resources, this resource is showing and I will click insert, okay? The other resource was uh, named user, user guide, okay? And still you see that under resources, there is user guide there and I will insert, okay? So those are the three resources I have added to my dashboard. I can go and save changes, okay? So they are here now and they are easily accessible to my users. So users can just click on there and it will take them direct to the page whose link I have put under the resources, okay? I hope, uh, Kevin, I hope the question has been answered. And Nozifo as well, the question was uh, almost the same. Okay, he says the question has been answered. <laughs>